welcome back to being wendy if you're new to this channel hi my name is wendy aka mama fabian and today we're gonna be focusing on a very very important topic because i feel like most of our subscribers are either young moms or are moms that or are about to be moms or are just you know you understand what i'm saying guys so my dad <laughs> Shout out to my dad because he's the inspiration for this video. My dad gave me this newspaper cutout from uh, Friday. And uh, what is it called? The topic of this article was the risk of feeding your baby in the lying posture. If you're a mom, you understand very well what that whole topic means without even me having to explain it to you but to those who don't understand like most of the times not most of the times babies always wake up in the middle of the night from like two four five you know those weird weird times so during that time you're obviously very tired and you don't have the strength to actually like pick your baby up and breastfeed them so what you just do is you you turn your baby to your side and while you're lying down you just take out your your breast and you breastfeed your baby so according to this article let me show you guys so that you can see the risk of feeding baby in lying position. So, this article is saying that the guys who actually feed their baby in these positions, especially for kids that are under six months old, always end up going to the doctor. The symptoms that these parents normally say is that the, the child has an unexplained fever, they have difficulty in sleeping, and they are overall irrita irritable. Yeah, and once the doctor does his whole diagnosis and everything, he finds out that your baby has an ear infection. So the risk of feeding your baby in this lying posture is that your baby is going to, on like a 90% chance, your baby is going to get like an ear infection. So let me read for you guys what this article is saying. Avoid bottle feeding a baby who is lying down. It causes ear infections. Doctors have warned not only bottle feeding but also breastfeeding. Ear infection in under six months old is mostly bottle feeding or breastfeeding while lying down. He explained that babies have little openings from the back of their throats to their ears called eustachian tubes. Hey, what's your medicine, Joe? If you did biology, you understand the whole anatomy of the ear. And it says that the babies have little openings from the back of their throat to their ears called eustachian tubes, which are shorter, wider, and flatter. So when you feed your baby in a lying position, the liquid pulls in the back of the mouth and the liquid can then back up into the ears through the eustachian tube causing inflammation in the tube so this inflammation is what gives your baby that discomfort that fever and it ends up causing an ear infection for your baby but because bacteria can enter through the tube into the ear and cause an ear infection so i tend to believe like nobody wants a baby with an ear infection you guys i once got an ear infection and that was like the worst pain i ever experienced in my life like my ear was literally like blood was coming out of my ear you know like you feel like if you like and then you you stay without waking up for a while then once you wake up the blood just rushes to that kidonda that's how an ear infection feels like you feel like your head is gonna fall off you feel like now you know your ears are the balance to your whole body so if one of your ears is infected you're not going to be okay so and you do not want your baby going through that definitely especially if your baby is under six months old because it's saying that mostly the people who've gone to these doctors or like this specific doctor have babies who are even weeks old and they've already gotten this infection you guys so i i really feel like this is something very important that we need to pay attention to because it is very very like avoidable you know because they go ahead to say like the best way for this to not happen to your baby is in the middle of the night yeah yes i know you're tired but it's it's even hard for you to breastfeed a week's old baby while you're lying down because you know first of all they still need to learn how to properly latch on your nipple so i think it's also important for you as a mother to actually carry your baby up sit down and actually breast feed them while you're sitting down so that in that way they don't get this infection and you personally as a mom you will not get like very very what is it called like your nipples won't be so 
you understand because of like the baby breastfeeding in in a wrong in the wrong position so i feel like it's advantageous for both the mom and the baby but most especially for the baby who we do not want getting this infection i remember when fabian was a very very but yeah, very very young he's still young anyway when he was weeks old I used to be so tired you guys I won't even lie I used to be so tired in the middle of the night when he wakes up but I never used to never once did I actually pull my breast out and breastfeed him like that I used to normally carry him and fall asleep while I'm carrying him which is also not safe but I was on the bed and I was sitting but at the same time it actually I think that saved him <laughs> because i feel like because now because he's older i actually do breastfeed him while we're sleeping like together you know because he doesn't breastfeed as much during the night that's the only time he'll breastfeed ways of avoiding this this milk going back into your baby's tubes one of the things is anytime your baby wakes up in the middle of the night to obviously they're crying so to breastfeed make sure you pick them up you hold them make sure they latch properly on your nipple and they breastfeed because the doctors here i think it takes five minutes maximum for baby to be done with like breastfeeding especially in the middle of the night so five minutes is not really a long time to prevent getting any infection which is going to give you a whole headache for the mothers who don't sleep with their babies i feel like it's very very advantageous because at the end of the day if your baby cries you're going to wake up go pick them you're not going to go back to your bed and sleep and breastfeed your baby obviously not you're going to sit down breastfeed them and take them back to their bed so if your baby has their own bed that good for you you know but for the mothers who are sharing beds with their babies make sure to hold your baby up and breastfeed them that way they avoid getting this infection because they say prolonged ear infections can cause hearing loss here uh, where, where where are my poses anyway prolonged ear infections can cause hearing loss hearing loss in a baby can make it harder for her to for him or her to speak and learn obviously you can tell if your baby is not understanding the things that you're saying you know like small small things like come hi bye i love you you know things like that so you really don't want your baby to have problems when it comes to understanding everything that they're supposed to understand at the certain stage that they're at whether they're like eight months old you know the way the baby is developed you want them to develop normally and yeah i feel like that's really the the major major thing that i wanted to talk about today because here you can see they say right here oh but this baby is so cute you guys like here they even put it it's not an nb really but it says the best way to handle a baby while feeding is to carry him or her feed them then let the baby rest it takes five minutes at most guys it takes five minutes to prevent an ear infection for your baby that might cause long term you know disadvantage thank you so much for tuning into this video make sure to like this video and also make sure to subscribe to our channel yeah so thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time bye